What's going on everybody? Here to give you guys a review for Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 10 Episode 12 Peaches Be Tripping Really Quickly. I know that I promise you guys the trending topics. I am still working on that. I'm, I have like almost three weeks worth of topics that I'm going through right now. So I'm trying to like pick what I do and don't want to talk about. So <clears throat> it's like almost 11 o'clock my time right like as I'm recording. So I'm going to try to at least be recording by two or three at the latest four so I can try to have the product out before I go to bed tonight. Fingers crossed. <clears throat> but I haven't forgotten about you guys. I have not forgotten. All right. <clears throat> so we pick up where we uh, left off with um, Portia pulling Cynthia off to the side to tell her, you know, what information she has. And she pretty much is saying that, you know, <clears throat> he is dating somebody but pretty much is an opportunist and using you pretty much more or less has to come up. And Cindy's in her feelings about it. Uh, Will comes and, you know, pulls her away. Mama Joyce comes up to Portia and says, you know, I need to talk to you later. And <clears throat> uh, she and Will are in the car. Now, <clears throat> I'm hoping at the reunion somebody's going to clear the timeline up for us because in the car i guess he said that he was dating somebody like two months ago but they've been seeing each other for three months now here's the thing to everybody <laughs> when you are dating somebody y'all probably first day at the latest second they should explain to the other person what dating is for you because for me if i am dating i can date who and have many fucking people i want to date but once we cross that threshold into, okay, now we're in a committed relationship, then is where it's just like, okay, now it's just you and not. You have some people that feel if they're dating you, they're in a relationship. <clears throat> so, because he said that he hasn't been in a relationship for, I think, two and a half years. So, if he's dating somebody, then that's perfectly fine. But it's like, have they established that amongst themselves? So, it's a lot that's not being said here. Now, he's trying to pull a Jedi mind trick on talking about, so you know, well, what type of come up? will I get from you being an opportunist in and out? I kind of feel like, okay, Cynthia, you, you should have, like, hit his ass with a you must not know about me and ran your damn, you know, portfolio <clears throat> on this motherfucker. Let him know that you are an international superstar. You are a top model. You have been on this magazine, this magazine. You have worn this. You know, literally gave him everything before Real Housewives of Atlanta. Then let him know I am on Real Housewives of Atlanta, a nationally syndicated television show that you are the fuck on right now. So you are getting publicity. You are getting shine. So what opportunities you got? You getting your fucking like? <clears throat> that's one of those where you know Cynthia, I'm the boss. Bailey should have literally popped the fuck out and got his ass smooth the fuck together. Like should have gathered a little bit of hair that he was growing on his head that day. But I digress. Anyway, Portia and Joyce meet up the very next day. Joyce says Candy does not know that she's there talking to her. I don't necessarily agree. I think she might be lying, but again, it is what it is. And Mama Joyce asks her, do you think that Phaedra <clears throat> was, uh, well, what she said was true? Now, Portia didn't answer that question directly. She was like, well, you know, seeing as how she was my friend and she's an attorney, you know, I mean, I kind of felt, it was just one of those where, because of her stature, I kind of went along with it. But it's one of those where I none of us can believe that they even had a conversation because that's another timeline thing of if that conversation was had, when was it had? Because if it was during the time they wasn't talking, then that right there should have been a red flag like, okay, you're lying. Now, if this was during the time they were talking, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe just maybe. <clears throat> and I don't like how Portia is doing everything to keep from even putting on herself. And she even said, like, why would she have me go into a sit down to say that? Where it's just like, okay, so you allow somebody to put a battery in your back. Now, when she was saying, well, I continue to ask her and ask her and ask her, is this true? Put everything in context. It was... I more or less believe that she was doing that because the whole big blow up at the reunion was to, you know, save her ass. So that's probably why she was continuing to ask. So when it came out, like, well, I continue to ask her. And even when she came at Candy with it, you know, it wasn't, uh, okay, well, look, this is what I heard. Is it true? You, it wasn't that she was asking. It was, well, I heard this and you was trying to do this type of fucking thing. So 
she can miss me with the bullshit. But Mama Joy says, you know, she can tell that she's loyal. And of course, she's loyal to a fault. And she needs to, you know, be weary of where she places such loyalty. And that was pretty much it with that. My only thing is, why they order that food? Ain't eat shit. <laughs> Mama Joy, at least she ordered a piece and put a fucking paper towel over it. Now, y'all know damn well how Candace been there. Candace would have been mm -hmm, mm -hmm, while she was talking. Candace ain't finna pass away. I ain't mad at her because shit, I would have been sitting that stuff in my motherfucking face too. Might have been unflattering as fuck, but still, you know it is what it is. We got Nene and Cynthia. <clears throat> so Nene is still trying to blame everything on Kenya and saying that, you know what, well, I'm going to come talk to her. And as I said on um, <clears throat> my last review for this, which as y'all saw, I did 16 reviews in 20. Well, actually, I actually did them back to back to back. But there was a break in me uploading because it was like midnight and I was tired. So I just went to sleep and then finished uploading when I woke up, but still. 16 on that ass y'all can't say I don't love y'all but anyway <clears throat> if you really wanted to come to her and tell her you wouldn't even brought all this shit to the girls because it was from her saying all this to not all of them but the majority of the girls where Kenya's just like okay well this is my friend I let me go sit here and try to tell her if you really cared about Cindy you would have went to Cindy directly like look I just found this shit out and at the same exact time was Candy's essence revealed was that really the place to fucking do it you know, you know. <clears throat> but anyway, I lost track. Where am I? Hold on, y'all. I wrote down that she now feels she got... Okay, whatever. Cynthia pretty much, uh, with everything that's going on, she pretty much wants to go abroad. That's on her bucket list. So she wants to go abroad. You know, meet some motherfuckers abroad. You know, she wants to be abroad. And I ain't mad at that shit. You know, do, do what you do, Cindy. Do what you do. You, you fucking single and shit. I ain't mad at you. So Barcelona is a place. Now, <clears throat> she wants to ball on the budget. Lanethia just like, uh, no, no, no. We ain't finna ball on no budget. We ain't doing no Airbnb. We ain't doing no Groupon and all this other shit. Acting like she's too good for it, but I'm going to let her have it. But this is also one of those where we do realize this is put on by the show. So they probably did not give Cynthia that big of a budget, which is why she's probably trying to ball on the budget. And she ain't finna sit here and spend her good, you know, coins on all these bras. You feel what I'm saying? Because I think if it was just her going... She probably will be first class, all this other stuff. <clears throat> but trying to sit here and do first class, the best everything for all these girls, like unless they were going to pay their portion, which they're not. So it's one of those ways. Like it's, it's cute, it's cute. But we 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 know the game. We know we know the game. But we we gonna go along with it though. Cynthia, oh, no no no. Cynthia wants to invite all the girls, and you know the issue is is a girls trip. And we, we all know that Kim don't go nowhere without Croy. Don't go nowhere without this motherfucker. This motherfucker will be parked in the damn parking lot sitting waiting for her to get done filming. And then fucking Nene said, you know, she need to be worried about Croy and then fucking ass plants. And I was just like, oh my gosh. But you also have to remember with these particular, like with their confessionals, they're shot after the shit. Not necessarily the whole season has been shot because they do have different looks but <clears throat> you can tell that this was shot after she and Kim didn't already fell out so that's why that commentary is there so it is what it is Kenya she's uh checking uh the fertility I'm sorry the functionality of her ovaries uh apparently she's uh six uh weeks with uh she's six weeks late on her period and the daughter pretty much said, based off the urine test, they can't, like, it's, uh, 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 I think it's inconclusive. But they also drew blood, so they're going to go off of that. And <clears throat> Ken's whole thing is she's not going to Barcelona. Like, she has already had two trips where shit went left. And she's trying to keep herself from, you know, being in the bullshit. Even when they went to, I forget, where the fuck they went to that very, very first trip. <clears throat> when they did the whole... Uh, bride thing, you know, with her being married and whatnot, and how they were trying to bait her. I don't give a fuck when nobody say, you know, I do like Kenya. Kenya, she brings, you know, that spice to the show, and it sucks they have to sit here now, so it's bringing Marlon and Kim for that. But you can tell <clears throat> that they're trying to bait. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Yeah, y'all already know mucus build up in there, and like I said, I'm I'm actually getting over a fucking cold and whatnot. So, excuse me. 
but you know trying to bait her and trying to you know get a rise out of her that's what they've been trying to do and i think she notices that and she's not trying to give them that anymore and she's trying to portray herself in a different light absolutely nothing wrong with that so cynthia peter uh she's upset that he left the party and it's one of the ways like you don't really put you don't put everything on the table like that though and, you know, he said he didn't want to blow up the spot. He saw her with, you know, her new dude. He was like, I, I would have gave your ass one of these. Like, shit, go ahead. Get at it. You know what I'm saying? And Peter <clears throat> is telling her, like, not to stress. You, you you putting too much on yourself. If this who the fuck you want to be with, be with that motherfucker. Take what <clears throat> they say. Take what a grain of salt. But you got to live your life for you. And I'm just like, okay, Peter, I, I, I can appreciate that. But when I say she was stressy, no. <laughs> she was stressy. Now, you can tell they was eating. Because if you go back to the Mama Joy's porch, they wouldn't eat. But Cindy said, fuck this, fuck the bullshit. I'm finna sit here and eat. I ain't mad at your shit. Go ahead. Chow down, baby. And <clears throat> you can tell there's still a flame there. <clears throat> so... Portia has her no beef party, which is pretty much just her vegan party. Uh, there is Lauren, Kim, Marlo, uh, Shamia, and Sheree. Of course, Portia's there. But Lauren is pretty much just like the house, like the party planner, if you will. Ain't got no motherfucking scene. And I feel, I'll be feeling bad for Lauren this much because she feel the shit. But how Portia let her sister look so damn regular. <laughs> and she's so done the fuck up. It's funny. So Marlo is throwing shade from the door, talking about some more. This is a small welcome mat. Oh, she she needs to learn. And then just standing there, she's like, well, does the doorbell work? <laughs> and I'm just like, they really do need to give Marlo a peach. That's because she's funny. She don't give us the bullshit. <clears throat> they rehash the whole Cynthia situation. Cynthia shows up, and she knows that they were talking about her. And, you know, Portia is all up in the business trying to do the whole, well, we're friends. Now, my thing with Cynthia is... I would have curbed that conversation. We would have went someplace to fuck else with it because here's the thing: out of this whole entire group, the only person that you're remotely cool with is Marlo. But you know, Marlo keeps up mess, and it's like you see with everybody there, nobody really has storyline. This and it sucks that Cynthia's storylines revolve around who she's with, so they're using her to have a scene, which I'm not necessarily cool with. <clears throat> now. One thing I will say is I can't appreciate that in the previous scene that even though I don't like Kim, she did say that people were trying to say she and Croy shouldn't be together this and third and she went with her heart and they need to leave uh, Cynthia alone and let her go with her. I can appreciate that. And she said something else in the scene. I didn't write it down, but it is what it is. And you got Portia and Kim continuing to pick like they really know Cynthia and it's just like, mmm. Now, really, <clears throat> Marlo, you know, is burping and all this other stuff. It kind of takes the attention off of um, Cynthia. And she says, oh, I have to go visit my cousin uh, at a nursing home. You know, it's a 24-hour nursing home. And, and like, the shade was good. Cause it was just like, oh, okay, you going to visit your man? <laughs> and, you know, there was even a point. Did I, did I pass it? Did I miss it already? Okay, no, so <clears throat> they bring up the girls trip and you know the whole no men and you know uh, Marlo picks up China and is beating it with the knife and then she turns to Porsche just like, oh, this is that good China. Oh, your African bought you some good <laughs> shit. <laughs> I holler. I'm just like, all right, this is like direct shade, but it's funny. It's taking it a lighthearted way, but I appreciate it because nobody really says anything to uh Marlo, but Portia was giving it back to Marlo. I appreciate it. <clears throat> and Cynthia is being a pushover in that moment. Talking about, so, okay, well, if she wants to bring, if she's in her professional though. Like, if she wants to bring Croy, they bring bring Croy. No, and I understand why that was because again, it is a trip that is uh you know being manufactured by production. But if it's just you bring yourself, then it's just you bring your fucking self. So they're getting ready for the trip, and then it comes out that Croy is uh uh can well Nene kinda put the pressure on Kim saying no Croy so since Croy's not coming she's not coming we already know King is not coming <clears throat> and it stops there. But I wish we would have seen the interaction between or how the conversation developed between uh Nene and um Kim 
because now everything is going to come out in the next episode and chances are they're probably going to save it to the very end and then you know it's going to be a to be continued from there but that is all I have. If I miss anything, we can keep the conversation going in the comment section below. So please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And like I said, right now, as soon as I cut this off and do my edit and upload, <clears throat> I'm going to start solidifying my topics for trending topics. So, well, tabloids and trending topics will teach, but y'all know what it is. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I will see you guys for, what's today? Monday. Monday for me, so I won't be able to give you guys Hollywood and uh, New York until tomorrow. So though, so trending topics, and then those videos. So see you guys then. Peace.